this is another thing that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, yes, they are not actors. Uh, my the main character, the truck driver, has never seen a film in his life, mm -hmm. um, uh, in its entirety. He's probably seen little bits of pieces, uh, you know, little clips and things like that. And I thought it was very exciting to work with someone and get them to really be themselves for a film. Mm -hmm. uh, after we started looking for him, we, we well, we just went out onto highways and mm -hmm. we looked for people. We interviewed maybe about 200 people mm -hmm. and we narrowed it down and down and down and then we settled with this guy. I might say that uh, from at the outset he was not keen to do it. Mm -hmm. He was skeptical of about us. He didn't mm -hmm. like, he didn't understand what we were doing. He thought we were police agents or something. Mm -hmm. He was very suspicious mm -hmm. of us. But then, you know, if from the very first time that I saw him, all of us saw him, he, he had that screen presence in him. We shot in Super 16, because I think Super 16 um, is small, the gear is small, the camera is small. Mm -hmm. It fits into awkward places, and definitely budget. Uh, but, you know, I like Super 16 as well. I've always liked Super 16, because it has a certain personal, you know, it's very personal and it's very close and it's it's got a grit and a grain that I thought suited this well. I am very keen always to have a visual style. That's very important to me in storytelling. And uh, because I think that's, that's what uh, me and my crew have been trying to do, which is cinema as opposed to, uh, you know, movies or something, I don't know. So we were trying to use vi that visual style of the space and also the story and coming together and going apart. And even uh, right up to the subtitles, if you notice, they're slightly moving apart. The, the kid is moving away from the parents. right? And so all this, I think, was better with film. I think it worked better with film.